Welcome back, ladies and gents, if you're listening also. Welcome to the Connect Show South Florida, uh, where each week we talk about entrepreneurship. We connect with women from all across the world and especially South Florida. So if you've been in business for more than 20 years or maybe just started your own business, we have something for you, Zoal, so don't worry. So we thank you for tuning in. And can we delve right back into it, ladies? Let's get into it, ladies. So for those of you that have been talking about starting a business for years, but maybe you haven't taken the first step, this is for you. What would you two ladies say was the catalyst that helped you really take action and start on this entrepreneurship journey? Oh, you know, this comes up a lot. People ask me often if they want to start a side hustle or a fully fledged business or another business. My advice always is to act sooner, right? Often I think the biggest regret that I've seen with people that I've coached who've reached a nice level of success, the only regret that they really seem to have because they're good with failure, they're good with things working out in a different way than they anticipated. The one thing that they regret those in some cases is wasting maybe some time doubting themselves not going for it right with action as always the result with thinking there is no result that's not where the clarity comes in it's not where the magic starts so i would just say if you're thinking about it it's time to get busy truly action will always win i know we we say it a lot but often we we still think there might be a good time in the future to take action when it's always just going to be now what do you guys think um i think for me it's um heavily on first, I think it's a, it's a twofold thing. First, you have those who I think always have, for example, there's some people I know who just have that entrepreneur type spirit. They just like business is something that they grew up with, it, they're instilled with, and, and that's what they do. Some people I know, they start businesses and do another business, start and, and it's successful. And then you have some people who really just want to do one. So I would first um, definitely suggest kind of like what Andrea did. Um, she, and I wanted to mention that too, she saw an, an open window and she saw there was a need mm -hmm. and she found what that need was. And there might've been something like it, but not like what she did. And then that's what, that's what her business was created on seeing the need, seeing the open window and fulfilling that need. So I think that's, that's another part for me, seeing what is not already there, even if it is, how can you make it different? Mm, yes, I love Tracy, that. what do you think? Well, I think, I mean, I agree with both of you. And Susie, especially what you said is about that action, right? We can all, I always tell people, like, you can't meditate your way into losing weight, right? We wish we could, right? But it doesn't work that way. Um, that's part of it, right? We want to have that mindset piece, but right. action is where we always get the confidence. Our confidence comes from, you know, getting into action, taking that action, and then realizing, like, wait a minute, why did I wait so long? So, you know, right. let it be, let it be messy, let it be imperfect but done is better than perfect, right? Oh, that's right. right. And I would say as well, you know, when it comes to getting started, it has never been easier. There has never been a better time in history to be an True. entrepreneur. And it's, I mean, even back when I started seven or eight years ago, making a website was expensive. And yeah. Lunky. I mean, you, there wasn't the help, the resources, the really accessible pricing that we have now. So, I mean, when That's you true. start a business, there are things that often we think we need, right? Like a business plan, like a website. On your personal business journeys, what you're know, looking back now, what could have waited when you first started out? Like, what do you think that maybe you, you think now, oh, you know, maybe I'll leave that out or I'll, I'll leave that to later? <laughs> but the first thing that comes to mind for me is like I had business cards. I was like one of the first things that I did. Like, who the heck uses a business card? <laughs> I mean, it's a different time now, you know, like no one uses business cards, but that was like a big deal. Like, oh, this made it real. And it's like, oh, please. Like, we don't need that anymore. Um, B cards. Yeah. What about you, Stitches? <laughs> we got B cards now. You just like, and the QR codes, like, scan it. Boom. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. It, it kind of goes back to what we talked about before. What could have waited? I could have, I could have done without the not wait. Mm -hmm. I think uh, for certain things, I, I think I waited too long. There were other things that I just went head first, and then there were some things that I just um, really sat on. And I, th and I thank God for it because he, he kind of at a certain point was like, Hey, you remember you wanted to do this. And then I write a lot of things down in my, in my books, like write it down, make it plain. And then sometimes he'll just put something in my heart, like go back to your book and look at that. And I'm like, Oh, 
let me go back and do it. So that's what I'm Tracy, I had busy dogs too. I still have them because I spent so much money on them. I haven't got the heart, my like the heart to throw them out. But they have my personal phone number on them. I mean, what was I thinking? I <laughs> don't you give me personal anymore. <laughs> I I don't even the the two boxes they just they're here. They will live forever in storage somewhere with me. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine giving someone? Someone just sent me a screenshot of like my first business card and was like, "Oh my god, I found this in a book the other day." Oh, this is so good. So I hope that all of you are taking notes because we are dropping some gems here today. And when we get back from the break, we are going to be sharing some of our favorite apps to help us run our businesses smoothly. If you missed last week's episode of The Connect Show, don't fret. Binge watch Netflix style only on YouTube at Natalie's Network. You see, we're not just creating female-based content. We are handing you the blueprint to success. Every Saturday, catch an up-close and personal peek with high-influence women on The Connect Show Texas, The Connect Show South Florida, and oh yeah, The Connect Show Twin Cities. 